What's up everyone? Welcome back. Trivex Silver here with me. I got Destiny, Future Miss Silver, and today we're going to be checking out something you all requested. As always, if you want to request anything, go down in the comment section. Tell us what you want us to check out. Make sure to like your own comment and then go down there below and check out everybody else's comment and like theirs as well. That way we know what you all want us to check out. Anyway, thinking out loud and let's get it on. Air Sharon, Ed Sharon and Marvin Gaye, Home Free cover. Uh... I'm guessing that they're going to be in intertwining two different songs. Yep, they're two separate songs. Two separate songs. She told me that a little bit before we started, and she's like, hey, these are two of my favorite songs. And I was like, huh? They're two songs? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, that makes more sense, I guess. I uh, wouldn't say they're my favorite, but I do know both of them, and I know the words to both of them. But I'm not going to say they're my favorite by any means. Uh -huh. um, but yeah. And then just want to apologize in advance. Trivex has me past my bedtime, and I might yawn. So if you see me make a weird face, it's because I'm yawning, and but I'm not trying to open my mouth too much. I'm trying to do a closed mouth yawn. She just looks funny after a certain time. Don't let her fool you. Anyway, uh, as always, guys, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Show your support by helping us grow the channel. This is what we're doing. Well, this is what I'm doing right now full time so anything you will do by liking commenting subscribing becoming a member for as low as 99 cents donating links in the description or buying merch again links in the description helps me out tremendously all right other than that let's jump in and do this when your legs don't work like they used to before okay i know this song now because i was kind of confused on which song it is i now know what song it is and the wah, wah, wah. yeah uh wah, 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 wah. okay that has to be apart from let's get it on because i remember that the reason i remember that is because i had a french teacher back in high school that if the kids in the back they did all the flirty you know giving each other googly eyes and they were whispering to each other he would secretly go back over to his desk while talking because obviously they weren't paying attention and he'd hit the button and start playing that song let's get it on and embarrass them which i thought was probably the funniest thing i've ever seen a teacher do at that time all right uh that's all i gotta say about that that was pretty good what do you think yeah all right and i can't sweep you off of your feet no Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? I've done that, guys. I brought flowers to, uh, on dates, and let me tell you, I've been the guy that opens up the car door, brings them flowers, taking them out on these nice dates. Even did, like, a carriage date with horses. It was pretty nice. You know, super romantic. You know, they get you absolutely nowhere stuck in the friend zone. Don't do it. The moment you stop looking and stop trying is when you find the one and yes she's probably about to say well you've never brought me flowers well that's because i have to I'd... beg him for flowers i buy my own flowers <laughs> and he has never taken me on a carriage ride with horses you even have... though i love horses so much like i wouldn't want to do that you, you have horses that don't matter <laughs> it don't matter oh no matter. if if we hit ten thousand subscribers we'll celebrate and i'll take you out on a carriage ride sound fair Okay, I all need right. 10,000 subscribers. All right, please. guys, so we need to hit 10,000 subscribers, and I'll take her out on a carriage ride. All right, let's jump in and continue. Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall out. 23 and I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways maybe just the touch of a hand do you remember the time we went out on a date and we tried wine we went to Olive Garden and I got us a I want to say a rosé because I've never had one before and I, yeah, that awful. was the first time I awful. ever, ever tried wine, guys, and it was absolutely horrible. I, I'll stick to my rum. I like some red wine. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my rum. I'll stick to my Jack Daniels and some Coke. I'll stick really to some moonshine. There's a really good blackberry wine that my parents get 
I like that one. I, again, that was the only wine I've ever tried, and that was like, yeah, yeah. If there's a if there's an amazing tasting wine out there that you all know of that you all can come to agreement on, put it in the comments. But this is like this is super sweet. This reminds me of like Lady in the Tramp. Hmm. Well, me, I fall in love with you every single. Looks like a nervous first date. Yeah, they, they seem extremely nervous. Uh, I mean, this could be like the first time they've actually went out on a date date. Uh, people don't go out on dates anymore. Uh, I've before I was with her, I take some you know girls out on dates, and they again they were like, "What, really? We're going out on a date? It's not just like Netflix and chill." Because uh, I guess that's the regular thing now. And I preferred getting to know somebody over, am I boring you? No. I just... <laughs> uh, but I preferred getting over, like, getting to know someone over a date. And I guess that's just old-fashioned now. People prefer just Netflix chill and you become friends after a certain while because you're they're not really wanting a relationship. They just want that intimate relationship and then they just want the relationship and then you start drifting off to distant friends and then you never see each other again. That's what I've noticed. Uh am I wrong? No. I mean our we did have a date. Our first date was Mexican restaurant in um my hometown. That's really the only rush sit down restaurant other than a uh, McDonald's and there was a subway at the time, but there's no, there wasn't even a subway at the time. It closed like a year before. Um, so the Mexican restaurant was where most of my first dates were because, again, I lived in a small town. And it's at like 45 minutes from everything. So it was just easier to go to the yeah. Mexican restaurant down the street. Yeah, yeah, and well, I love queso, so Yeah, why so not? if you missed the live stream, we'll probably talk about where each one of us is originally from. So her small town and my small town are two complete different things. But this small town isn't really a small town. Not but... anymore. Not anymore. It's not a small town. But back when I was there, it was an extremely small town where there was only... They, they were building a Walmart. There wasn't mm. even a Walmart. And then when there was, it's called the Walmart, which she makes fun of. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. The Walmart. Let's yeah. go down to the Walmart. She's making fun of me. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in. And the crowds don't remember my name. Where Super my sweet. Head? You don't do that for me. Should have brought your own damn jacket. <laughs> See? You don't do that for me. <laughs> That's a lie. She's actually wore my jacket multiple times. Because I steal it. See? So why would I bother giving it to you if you're just going to steal it? I know you're going to steal it. Anyway, let's continue. And Gotta have to pause too much. The same way. Mm, I know you will still love me the same. Because honey, your soul could never grow. It's evergreen. I love you. And baby, your smiles forever in my mind and memory. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe it's all part of the plan. Just doesn't seem interested in whatever they're watching. No, he's really she into wants it. him to be. She wants to cuddle up on him. He's into it. He's his popcorn. He don't care about her at the moment. He don't even know she's there. She forgot all about her. 
See, uh, that's what, like that's what bothers me. Like on going on movies dates is because either the girl's gonna be really into the movie and they ain't gonna pay attention, or the guy's gonna be really into the movie and they're not gonna pay attention. And that's why, like, unfortunately, we gotta find romantic, maybe comedies. That way, you all can, you know, lean into each other, laugh, have a good time, hold hands, have the popcorn in between. Because look, she's looking straight down at that popcorn, like, buddy, you've been eating that entire thing all by yourself. I'm hungry. Honestly, we can't say anything. We just go see Marvel movies. In Marvel, <laughs> we don't go. We don't go to the movies for almost anything else. Just Marvel movies. Yeah, just Marvel movies. <laughs> Let's get it on. Oh, baby. Let's get it on. Let's love, baby. Let's get it on. Sugar. Let's get it on. I just want to say, I wish Tim had his own song of Let's Get It On. I would, I would definitely get rid of the original and just have Tim's. Because it just sounds amazing the way he's singing it right now. I don't even think he's. I don't even think he's watched the full Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. No, don't need to. Uh. Don't need to now. I always. This is the first couple parts of it where he's like, "Let's get it on," and it's all you know, romantic. And then it's like, "All right, I switch the song over." But you know, if Tim sings, and I might actually listen to the whole dang thing. Mm -hmm. Let's get it on, sugar. Let's Dummy. What the? <laughs> That's the second time that I've almost went to kiss and they haven't. Oh, buddy, read the signs. Let let's 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 watch watch. Closed on. her eyes. She leaned in. Twenty. Twenty percent. She leaned in twenty percent. Guy, go eight eight. It's just like the movie Hitch with Will Smith in it. You go eighty. She goes twenty. Or it, it, that's that's the, the greatest crap. I don't remember. I it's I don't been a while that. since I've watched Hitch. I might have to go watch it again. But he's like, you know, you lean in, she leans in, she leans in first, you lean in. And that, like, and he's just like, hug. <laughs> I would have been so mad if I wanted to lean in for a kiss and you hugged me. I would have been like, are you serious? Are you? I'm kidding. I wouldn't have been mad. I'd just been like, God damn, I just got friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> But I bet you would have been like that if you would have like leaned in for a kiss and I just hugged you. You probably would have like kneed me in the nuts. I don't think I would have taken it that far. All right, sure. <laughs> Let me love you. Come on, darling. Let's not be In there. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure they're doing a little bit more than kissing in there. Uh, man, I was like, man, are they ever going to kiss? And then I was like, she took the lead. I was like, oh yeah, she's going to kiss him. And then she got drugged him into the room. I was like, she's a succubus. I know what's going on in there. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed this. It was nice. I like how they like actually put them both together. I like I said. I really want to see Tim sing "Let's Get It On" by him. Like you know the solo. If he has already done that, though, let me know in the comments. What do you think about this? I like it. 
You like it? I know you, you're a big thing for like people like when they intertwine songs together, I multiple don't songs. I think they really intertwined them. Too the, much? The, yeah, the greatest. I think there could have been a little more of Let's Get It On. Okay. There was only a small part of it. Small sections? Okay. Yeah, I think they could have like intertwined them a little bit. But it was a really good song. I mean, really good version of Thinking Out Loud. Like I said, okay. there just wasn't a lot of Let's Get It On, so I can't really say if I would like that more okay. than if they hadn't intertwined them better. All right. Well, let's see if they have anything else to say at the end. Nope, it's just going to be a uh, preview of the next song that we probably need to check out. But anyway, guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Become a member for as low as 99 cents. There's a link in the description for merch, donations. Anything you all can do definitely helps out the channel. Commenting, liking, subscribing, all that stuff definitely helps out, even if you have no money. All right? Uh, it helps me out tremendously just because we get into an algorithm. That way we can keep growing the channel and a lot more people see our stuff. But than that, that's basically it, right? Right. All right, and I'll see you guys, as always, in Bye guys. the next one. Bye-bye.